Hi guys, Josh Thackeray reporting for Spurred On TV. We've just beaten Sunderland 4-1 here at the lane. I've got David and Alex with me. David, what did you make of that? Well, it was, a, it was a slow start, wasn't it? You know, I think we're a bit flat. Sometimes we are. Our last match, uh, Saturday morning against Chelsea, we were very flat. It wasn't a good game. Today we started poorly. I think we almost needed them to score to give us a kick and get us going. And, of course, we came out in the second half. What did you put the flatness down to? What, what do you think that, uh, that the reason behind us coming out a bit slow at the traps? Difficult to put your finger on it, isn't it? I don't know. You some, sometimes we just need that lift and that spark and we don't just have it the whole time. And that's why we're not really challenging. I don't think we're going to challenge this year. But if we have that, if we can get that, if Pochettino can get that flowing through the team, then we'll be right. Well, we are up there, but we can be challenging. I think, you know, top four is going to be secure for us this season. And we're playing well. You know, we're coming up on the blind side we're you know being uh, undervalued a little bit in the Premier League which is good and I like that if we can keep it like that and keep it going and getting three points every other game the way we are we'll be right up okay there, yeah. Ericsson scored two today there's been a lot of talk about him in his best position you know he's been going off around the 70th minute most games Poch has been pulling him off what's your view on Ericsson where's his best position and if he is in the middle who do you replace well, I like him in the middle. <laughs> I like him in the middle. You know, if he's pulling the strings, he's, he's spraying it out. He's got good vision. You know, that second goal today was a blinder. You know, you, you, you know that's what we pay our money for, isn't it? So, you know. Yeah, I think with Ericsson as well, he's very cool on the ball, isn't he? And he's got that enemy. He's got that extra second where he can take, you know, place his shot and, and he's quite clinical. Um, so if Ericsson goes in the middle, someone's got to come out the middle. You've got Dembele, you've got Ali. Who goes out on the left? What would your formation be if you could change it? Well, I think, um, you know, Ali, you want... I think, I think what you want is uh, Ali, Ericsson, Dembele floating around, mixing it up all the time. And I think they've got the ability to do that. And that's yeah, I, 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 th I think you're right then. I thought Ericsson did cut in quite a bit and he took responsibility today, yeah. which was good to see. Now, Sunderland's not great opposition. We've got two yeah. games coming up. You know, let's focus on the next two games, Crystal Palace. And we've got Watford at home. Yeah. Six points? A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, and I think Palace haven't been brilliant at home this season. I think we need to we owe them a game, and we need to show them. You know, a few years ago we lost there, and we we were we were up near the end. I think we need three points this time. Right, I'm going to switch over to you. Is it Alex? Yeah. Alex, what did you make of the game? Uh, any 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 uh, sort of uh, key key um, movements or players that you want to you want to say? I mean, Eriksen scored twice. Um, Dembele was was mentioned quite a bit. Who was it for you that that would be man of the match today? It's got to be Ericsson. Like, apart from the fact that he got two goals, one of them was brilliant. He also he played a completely different game to how he usually plays. A lot of people have been getting on his back, saying he's, no, he's not been playing very well. He only scored two goals. That was the last time he's ever he scored in the league against Swansea. But now he's taking on players. He didn't really fade out the game like he usually does. He was making more ambitious passes. He was, he was actually really good. And he keeps that up. He's going to be very um, integral in us finishing high up this season. And also Dembele coming back, just shows how, how much we missed him. That goal was brilliant. Um, Kane getting on the score sheet, that was... I think it was a real good all-round team performance today. So, you know, Ericsson and Dembele are the key key players that we mentioned over and over again. Trippier as well, I thought he, I thought he had a good game. Coming forward, he was very, he was, I didn't know he was that skillful. He's got a couple of step overs, taken on a man. I thought it was really good. Would you say Trippier over Walker? After last match? I think how Pochettino has this way of he rewards players, or if they play good games, I'd definitely keep him in the team. But Walker's been good this season. Walker's been good this season. Okay, guys. David, Alex, I want one name, transfer. Right? You've got that one player you want to bring in, whether it's a striker, whoever it is. Who are you going to bring in? <sighs> and why? I'm going to come up you know to what? You know what? I still say Berahino. Bring him in. He's got a point to prove, and you want someone here who's got, to, you know, they're, they're hungry and they need it, and he needs it. That's great, guys. Berahino, let us know what you think. Obviously, you're very certain on Berahino. Um, there are, there are. There's not many other choices, are there? Who else is out there? Well, Shane Long's being mentioned. There's a few mentioned, but uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, Berahino, yes or no? Um, and uh, you know, guys, thanks a lot for your analysis. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.